Hello fellow travelers, thanks for joining us. Today we're in Harrison Mills, British Columbia to check out the remains of the Rat Portage Lumber Company Mill. Let's go explore. The town of Harrison Mills got its name from the sawmill that once stood on the shores of the Harrison River. In November 1899, the Harrison River Mills Timber and Trading Company was incorporated. And soon after, the town of Harrison Mills sprung up, including houses, a school, churches, stores, a community hall, and a railway station. The buildings in Harrison Mills were connected by a network of raised wooden walkways and ramps, which were necessary because of the annual floods on the Fraser River. In 1903, the Rat Portage Company bought the rights to the mill after a fire destroyed the original building and machinery. When the new Rat Portage Mill opened in 1909, it was one of British Columbia's largest sawmills. At the end of World War I, the Rat Portage Company decided to pull out of the town altogether and concentrate on its mill in Vancouver. The machinery was sold and the buildings left vacant until a fire in 1930 claimed most of what was left. Today, all of the original wooden structure of the building is gone and all that's left is the original footprint of the stone boiler room. Just off the train tracks and through the bushes, I can already see the remains of the company mill building right back there. It's actually a very beautiful area. You can hear the birds chirping. All that remains are these rock walls where the lumber mill once stood. The site's fallen victim to a number of graffiti artists who seem to use the walls as a canvas. It looks like the site might be used as a local hangout. There's actually a fire pit and some beer cans inside. The mill was located on the edge of Harrison River. You can see a number of old pilings rotted out, stretching into the river. Not many other traces remain. A few big concrete pilings. And this open clearing next to the original mill building. Just a small reminder of BC's history. This historic site is just across the train tracks from another historic site, the Kilby Heritage Site. Kilby is temporarily closed, but we'll come back again sometime to explore and learn more about this historic town site. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you're staying safe and taking care. Check out our interactive map if you want to see other abandoned and historic locations that we've been to. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.